So Jane, you've brought me in um, what looks like a bit of playtime. But what a clever idea. It certainly is. All it is is a basic machine mat. That, and it's a really good project. When you get your new machine, just have a look at all the stitches on it. Yeah, you don't yeah, use I them, and it. that's a really good record. And it literally is just selecting some of the decorative stitches, stitching them out. You can do diagonally, you could cross hatch them, whatever you want. But it's a really good record of what's on the machine mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. we can do with mm -hmm. it. And it's functional as well. You can use it to pop underneath your machine. I was going to say, yes, it has, it has an end purpose. I think mm. that a lot of us don't like playing because we just feel it's a waste of time. I, and fabric. Um, yes, and, yes, and fabric, yes. yeah. So how do you keep the, these, did you mark all this? No, I use, you know, we looked at the quilting guide bar before. Oh, Pop yes. the good old quilting guide oh, bar okay. on there and it works really well. And yes. again, with the decorative stitches, because I'm going through wadding on there as well. Yes. So we're going to select a decorative stitch, which is quite straightforward. They're all down here and we have a huge raft of them. So we can go through, say, I would probably not use a satin stitch on something like that because no, it's a little be a bit, bit dense. Bit intense, but isn't say it? something like this. And again, we can go in and we have the ability, which is really great. When you're going through your wadding, we can take the top foot pressure down. So okay. it's taking off the top so it will flow right. through better. Because you can't do your decorative stitches with your walking foot. I was foot. going to say, because of the, uh, the way the walking foot yeah. functions yeah. and the orientation of this, backwards and forwards doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, it doesn't does it? work no. with the decorative no. stitches. So, so you just take the Just pop the it in and take some top foot pressure off it, yeah. So another really good feature on the machine that we don't use often enough, in fact some of us have never used it or don't even know it's there, is the bridge stitching. No, never heard of it. So it's a really great way of altering your pattern so we can put some stitches in between each pattern repeat to give us a whole new effect so this it, this this is the pattern repeat yeah. of this yeah okay. but i just pop some bridge stitches in again you could put some beads in between some little tiny mother of pearl buttons looks anything nice like that nice it very easy to do so we need to go back to the machine i'm going to do the little star this is in the quilt section in stitch number 22 so to get there again i'm back onto here into quilts take it across and it's number 22 what I want to do, I only want one motif though, so I'm going to take that one again and pop that in. And the beauty of this now is I can go back out into another section of stitches and add more to it. Right. So I'm going back onto it, bridge stitches. There we go. So you can see there's a small ray here um, and it's just putting them, you can put one stitch in between, three stitches. You can put one to the left, three to the left. You can put them to the right. So you can, there's quite a bit of... Um, okay. there's, quite, there's quite a bit of alternative ways yes, and you've also got your stretch that. stitch in there as well you can okay. use so for this one I'm just going to pop three stitches in so we can in get the, a really good idea orientation. and that is fine now so because I'm popped it in the middle because it runs off the centre of the stitch oh, yes, all the okay. time so I'm just going to pop that on and again we can start sewing and it will sew for as long as we want now on this combination we want to stop again lock stitch and we'll finish off the pattern repeat before it stops. So it's just another whole new sort of aspect to the work that you can do with the machine. Absolutely, absolutely. There we go. So yes, and, and sort of joins up the gaps, it doesn't does, it? It just pops that extra space. In a yes. could, that would look lovely with some little mother of pearl buttons and yeah, anything like that. Really nice, as a decorative feature. Yes. Really nice, thank you.